feel the cool breeze. It's such a lovely tease. Hey, everybody. Hi, how's everybody doing? Welcome to our Pasca paint party. We're so excited to have you here because we're doing something really fun today, like we always do. But what are we doing today, Drew? We're painting mushrooms. Happy mushrooms. We are painting happy mushrooms. Yeah. And that leaves so many possibilities. But before we get started, of course, we want to thank our sponsors, Pasca, the people who give us these awesome paint pens that Drew has been painting with for over 30 years. And every paint party, we give a box of these away. This box is getting shipped to Friday's winner, Janine Brown. If you are listening, please look out for your box of Hoskas. Of course, you have to send us your shipping address and you can email it to hello at brophyartacademy.com. All right. So, um, do you know what you're painting today? I do. I want to um, I want to show everybody what goes into creating one of these uh, bigger Posca paintings. You know, on Mondays we're really trying to uh, make it a little bit more of a deep dive. Even though we're painting mushrooms, which sounds pretty simple, I'm really going to be talking about some of the components that went into my Mother Earth series, which uh, one of the paintings is right here behind me. And I'm gonna be showing you the sketches. I'm gonna be showing you everything that, um, uh, that goes into doing this. So when you start creating your painting, uh, you can uh, kind of start to visualize putting more pieces in because a great painting is just a collection of one thing. So if you can do this mushroom really well, then there's no reason why you can't put a bunch of things together and make that look amazing as well. So um, let's look at this real quick. And um, first of all, the, the idea is always everything. Uh, I would like to really congratulate everybody that was on uh, the eye class. They, I mean, I saw so many cool eyes and it was just really nice, you know, because Friday's class is kind of like more of a free for all, but the ideas that came out of that were really amazing. Um, and today will be kind of similar, a lot of free range, but really I'm going to be showing you a lot of stuff. Uh, I think a lot of people have the blending techniques down and I'll be going over that again for any new people. Um, but right now let's start out with, uh, let me see, what should I show you first? Let's transition to my, my uh, camera over here if we can. So this is one of my designs for the Mother Earth series. And what this is, Mother Earth is, um, is gardening products. So this is a lot of products that have uh, different soils, uh, different fertilizers, and, and things that uh, help you grow stuff in your garden. And what's really neat is you can see there's a lot of stuff going on there, including the mushrooms. Well, in order to do this, there's a lot of sketching involved. So here's some sketches from some of the other pieces. And you can see how I have a really detailed sketch. But the sketch doesn't start out like that. It starts out, uh, let's see if I can get it in there. Kind of like really simple. You see how basic that sketch is? And then it gets a little bit better and then a lot better and then I go to paint. Um, and that probably wasn't even the first sketches. There was probably some little thumbnails. Um, let me show you some more. These are sketches. I have piles and piles of sketches for every painting. So let's see, these are upside down. But you can just see how these ideas, look at this one's hilarious. These are flowers. I figured we'd already done flowers, so uh, I was gonna just do mushrooms because mushrooms are fun. But you can see some of these earlier sketches. I'm going backwards. Um, but you can see there's just tons of these and I have piles and piles more. Uh, Drew, you want me to bring up a couple sketches on the screen for you? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. All right, I'm gonna share my screen and Let's see. So I've got, when we go back to the Mother Earth thing, I have a sketch here. Can you see that? Um, we're still on my screen. Oh. It's not shared yet, Maria. Would you like me to share on my screen? Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. Sorry about that. That's okay, it happens. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got it, I got there it. There you go. Okay, there we go. Here we go. 
All right, so I'm going to show you. Um, click on yeah, click on this one. So this just kind of shows like when I'm doing some one of these bigger projects. You can see my mushrooms in there, and mushrooms are really fun to draw. I uh, make them like kind of coming around the rocks and kind of real lots of roots and things to them, even though they don't really have roots. I uh, try to blend everything in together, and then you can see some of the flowers involved. But this is what I mean by a collection of a lot of things. So if you can do one thing well, you can definitely do a collection of things well. Because sometimes when you see some of my more complicated paintings, it's a little overwhelming. But I'm using the same technique of just you know, doing one color grouping at a time with the Posca pens. And the Poscas really allow you to just focus in on that color blend and then move on to the next. It's a real methodical way to paint and uh, very forgiving and intuitive. There's the painting a little bit further along without black on it. And um, let's see what else we have here. Uh, this is a small, quick, quick little paint study of me starting and you can see the sketch. And so this is kind of something like what we'll be doing today. And then let me show that finished. Yeah, and there, there it is finished. And um, can you do the, hap the little happy guys? A little, yep. So this is a really good one. This was done for little girls flip flops. And, you know, it just shows you how you can make a really happy, just silly mushroom. And, um, and then you can, all the things that you can add around it. So you don't have to just do the silly mushroom. You could add a sun, you could add all kind of leaves and flowers and bugs. Uh, you could combo it kind of like with the eye project from last week and put some crazy eye on it like the last one. But these are all the ideas that we're kind of exploring. All right. And you can see on my page, there's lots more of this Mother Earth series. If you want to check out some of the Mother Earth art on Instagram, it's Mother Earth Grow. And you can see all these. These are all big bags of soil, so it's, uh, it's pretty neat. And I even did this, like, cool lettering. You can see this. And um, it just shows you this is on paper with Posca pens. So you can see, you know, how detailed I can get with these. And then this is photographed. And all these, all these things are photographed. And then that's how we build the packaging for uh, the bags. And so this is a, a mock-up of the bag. So it's a lot of steps. I have to sketch the art. I have to paint the art. I have to photograph the art. And then I organize it, put it all together in the computer. And then when you show up at the plant store, you have this really cool looking bag with my art on it. So yeah, so check out some of that stuff on Mother Earth Grow. And um, It'll give you a whole new appreciation for doing art. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last week, which seems to work good, which is sketch with a Posca pen, so everybody can see. Get stuff off of here. So I'm really excited to draw here. I hope everybody else is excited. I can see some of you in the, thing, in the, the windows, but I don't know what everybody's, um, going to be sketching on but you know i'm going to kind of do like kind of similar to that little uh painting with the eye on it i'm going to do something like that and i start out of course with the half half moon kind of like that but keep in mind you like the happy mushrooms are more like this it, it does you really can't go wrong there can be any kind of shape you want um some of them are more of a bell shape or you know, so there's all different types. Don't get married to just one. But I start out with the arc and almost like come down on the bottom. And what you want, sometimes you're looking at it, if you just did it um, straight on, you, want, you wouldn't be able to see the underside, underside of it. So I kind of make it look like it's tilted up so that we can see that. And you, what you want to do is kind of make it round, almost like you're doing like half an orange or something. Um, but a little less, like a squished orange, maybe. And for me, I kind of look where the shaft of it's coming in and kind of come through. And, you know, that's real uniform. You don't have to be uniform. I mean, you could make it kind of swirly like this. There's no rules. I really want everybody to just kind of have fun and, and, and make theirs unique. I don't want everybody to look like mine. Now, the other thing is when I put faces on them, you know, I could put a face up here on the top of it, or I could put a face down here. Um, 
which is kind of fun. So it's either way, like the happy mushrooms, you know, you kind of create the face down here and all of a sudden you have like this happy little mushroom guy going like this. And, you know, just like always, this is just your map. This is not the finished product. This is how you kind of feel it around. Now you'll be doing this probably with pencil. So, you know, uh, it won't be as permanent as me doing it with the Posca pen so you can see. The other thing is you could do, like if I was doing eyes up here, you could do like I did the one eye on that last one. And that's a lot of fun. And so you have this like crazy eye. How weird would that be if you walked into a forest and all the mushrooms were staring at you? But he's kind of like this, and then maybe he has this. And this really kind of came from doing the art for the uh, Sublime album cover back in the day and uh, really just having fun with that. And we can have some of the different colors and things going on here. A lot of times, you know, I just go surfing up in Oregon a lot and I couldn't believe it, but there was just mushrooms growing everywhere. And it was really cool to see the water collect on top of them. You know, some of them would even go inverted and have water like inside of them, like kind of like that. And um, it was just really neat to, to see it in nature and see so many of them and big giant ones, it was crazy. Um, so all that inspiration kind of came together in the sub Sublime album cover. And, uh, you know, there, there's a big mushroom on the front of that. Um, for the underneath of the mushroom, you know, you could do this either fluted out like half like this. So you're doing them all like this or invert it like this. So it could be either way, but whichever way you decide to do it, you want to do it consistently. So I kind of like it like this so I can kind of make it like ribbed. And that's really what makes it fun when you're, when you're looking at it and it's kind of getting all like ribby. I like the way this Posca pen sounds. So something like this. Um, it's kind of cool because he has both and you could do that too. And then I could add like the little water bubbles on top, let's say, and maybe it's like dripping. These are all ideas for us. Maybe the water's dripping off of them or some type of sap, something like this. And then imagine filling the page and maybe there's, you know, like the mother earth paintings, you know, maybe there's like little ferns growing around it. Or, you know, maybe there, there's little snails like going up them. You guys see the little snail I just drew right here? So this is kind of the fun of just like making this little microcosm and when you do your sketch and you're sitting there like coming up with all these funny little ideas and you just paint it one by one, uh, you know, it's like almost like you're creating a good book, like this little wonderland. Um, in the sky, you could do, you know, something in the sky or you could just have it be one color. It doesn't matter. On that sketch with these guys, I had like these really big giant mushrooms in the background kind of like coming up. Something like this. All right, so that's enough of the exploring of ideas. Hopefully that gives everybody a, a nice uh, inspiration to kind of do an idea. Some of you already might have started uh, before class and seen some of the cool stuff. And I'm gonna transition to doing this really quick on a canvas so I can paint with you. And I'm gonna do it in pencil really fast. So let me see if I got my, my glasses. And if anybody has any questions, please either write it in the chat or hit raise your hand. Dan raised his hand. Dan, I'm going to unmute you and bring you on real quick if you're Dan. ready. Dan, Dan, show us what you were working on the other day. Well, uh, the, other day, the other day I did uh, this thing here. Yeah, he looks so good. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that. He's like a little miniature whale. Yep, yep. He's a whale. So now I'm, I'm in this whole thing where I got a blowfish, an alien, a whale, fish. So I'm just going to go through the whole thing. So this mushroom is fun. Uh, and seeing your mushroom eye on the Sublime cover is pretty cool. I was just looking at that. So I'm pretty inspired. Right. Um, but I had a question. Sure. Do you ever have a sketch that's so good that you're like, I'm not going to be able to just recreate that on the canvas perfectly do you ever use like the 
a projector or the tat tattoo transfer paper or anything like that to make sure that your yeah. lines are just on the money? Yeah, so that's a great question, Dan. And thanks for asking because for all of my big projects uh, like this one in the background, you know, I'm pitching that uh, to a company who they want it to look just like that without any variation. So the answer is absolutely yes. I have to project that sketch onto a um, canvas. And when I do that, it has to be perfect. It has to be measured perfect because it's for a product that um, has precise measurements. Everything has to lay down in the precise spot for the lettering, for all the other alternate information. And so, you know, it's real important that I get it right. So there's not a whole lot of freedom there. And I have to think about those things when I'm designing it. And so, so yeah, sometimes that gets a little tricky and sometimes we have to eliminate stuff or I'm like really bummed if uh, they decide to add something and it goes over one of the really cool elements in my painting. Um, it, it's really cool for the, some of you guys that haven't seen all that Mother Earth series on the Instagram, you see all that art. And all of a sudden you get a really good idea of like, wow, this is what it's like to get like a, a job where you have to design all this stuff. And it's a lot of work, uh, a lot of back and forth. And, you know, they, it's a fine line between making it really trippy and cool and um, making it so it doesn't cross the line anywhere or make it too insane for somebody to, you know, incorporate to freak out about it. So I want to do a shout out to a few people. I mean, we have so many people on right now. We've got 82 people on right now. And um, of course, we have a lot of regulars that come back again and again. And we love to see that. Paige and Reagan are always here. Um, Parker McBride. I want to say hi to Jody from Honolulu. I think. Jody, weren't you, um, I think you were interviewed by Andrea Earhart today, right after Drew was, or right before Drew was, which is kind of funny, on Instagram, a uh, small world we all have here. And then I want to do a shout out to a really special family, the Johnsons, Andrew and Karen and Avon. So happy you all are here. Um, and so many of you have been ordering your Posca paint pens from Brophy Art Academy, and we really appreciate that. We ship them out every single day. We just uh, made a post office run about 15 minutes ago before we got started. So um, we're trying to get them out to you same day so that you have them for every paint party. All right, so I did my sketch there really quick, if everybody can see that. Hold that still for just a sec. So it's just like this goofy, funny little sketch. And I want it to, you know, have personality. Now, you know, you can see in this one, these are more, you know, kind of realistic ones on my uh, uh, one in the back, but uh, it'd be kind of boring just painting a mushroom without a personality. You know, for me, even as a kid, everything was alive to me. When I'd be out in the forest, it just seemed like the, like everything was, either smiling at me or looking at me and um, you take it for granted that you know you see the world the way you do and and I had no idea that I was seeing the world so vividly and um, you know now it's just it's just kind of funny I think about it and I'm like oh my gosh like people must have thought I was crazy when I was a little kid I'd be drawing all this funny stuff and, and I'm adding like bubbles and things all right, so now I can flip it around. I can paint backwards now that it, the sketch is on there because it's just my little map. Now, one of the fun things for uh, doing our mushrooms is it's a really cool color blend that we can do. Depending on what colors that you have, let me make sure I got all my colors. Um, for the color blends, which work really well um, here with the Poscas, you know, we have purple and brown work, work, work good even uh, some red. So I'm gonna do some like kind of trippy color blends here. And then also the brown and the light orange, which looks really more tan, um, is another good color. I like doing contrast. So if I do the top of the mushroom 
uh, with these colors, I might do the bottoms with like blue or something. So, you know, just pick your colors to really contrast. Um, if you're looking for more of a realistic, you know, look, you might just stick with a lot of browns and, and earth tones. Uh, even sometimes mixing a little green in them uh, with the brown makes a good um, uh, subtle fade. So it just depends on what you want to do. All right, so I'm going to get started on my cap here. And everybody else, this is a great time for people to ask questions. And as we all paint, you can sit here and watch. And if you if you have a question, please ask me. Otherwise, we'll just his hand raised but before i go to cairo i want to uh read steven dost said he's been watching your youtube videos for a long time and today happens to be his uh or he just celebrated his 38th birthday yesterday so wow happy birthday happy birthday steven stoked you're hanging out with us and it's you know, this is, it's kind of neat that this whole thing has allowed us to slow down to, to come draw and paint. So I hope that everybody continues to, to keep painting when this is all done and that I keep seeing your paintings on Instagram and who knows, we'll probably run into each other again somewhere someday and we'll check out what all we've been up to. And Stephen wanted to know what kind of canvas you're using. Uh, this canvas is, I believe, a Fredericks canvas, which I like yeah. to use. And um, but there's lots of different canvas materials. Uh, some are cheaper than others. So you know, depending on what you're going to paint, um, if you're doing something like a lot of things where you're practicing, uh, you might want to buy some of the cheaper canvases. If you're doing stuff that you're probably going to eventually uh, sell or uh, promote or display, you might want to use a little nicer canvas. But in the end, if the art's good, it doesn't matter. You could be painting on a scrap piece of wood and people love it and they're going to want to display it. So, all right. So this is kind of just the around the eye. And then I'm going to do around here and you, so you you guys see all my, I'm always doing dark to light. So I take the lar darkest color in my combination and then I go to the light. And I do that with every painting. So when you see one of these big paintings of mine, like the Mother Earth series, I do that with every color combination. So it's very, very methodical. You see my red has a little bit of green on it. I'm not even going to worry. That's going to add to it. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Yeah. Am I getting am I getting better with my uh, setup here? It's getting better. I'm constantly trying to uh, to have a better setup so people can see. But it's a fine line between too close, too far away. We're learning just like everybody else how to do this and get this to you. I'm just happy that we're able to do it in this fashion. Keone said that it's much, much better. It's great. And Keone should know because Keone has been with us from the very beginning. That's Since cool. we started this exactly a month ago, our first Posca paint party was March 20th. Wow. And it doesn't it feel like it was a lot longer, <laughs> a lot longer ago. I know, a lot's happened in that so time. Many. Well, I really think this is, this, uh, has created an opportunity for all of us um, to do things a little bit differently. It's really opened my eyes that I can um, reach out into the world and share. It feels really good. I love seeing what everybody's painting. Um, you know, we're sitting here all alone in our art studio and um, even Jillian, she's in Canada. So we're not hanging out with her. She, we just see her online. And we haven't properly introduced Jillian. Um, Jillian is, part of our team, our Brophy Art Academy team. And without her, none of this would go very smoothly, let's just say. She is the problem solver and she's the wizard behind the curtain. Yeah. So if you have a technical problem, Jillian will be the one that will solve it for you. Yeah, and then and we have David also, David's here. 
And David is our uh, watcher as well. Yeah. <laughs> he's he behind the scenes. He's the job. other wizard behind the scenes. Without him, probably nothing would happen either. So I don't know. I don't know what we, how we went through life without Jillian and David. But. <laughs> and, um, and of course, Tosca. You know, I just can't tell you how thrilled I am to be able to have these pens and, and introduce them to you guys. I know some of you have used them for many years, and then others have just discovered them. My goal is to get these into schools and get people painting all over the country and all over the world. And um, I just think this is one of the best, easiest ways to introduce people to art and get them excited about painting. So hopefully as we go, we'll uh, maybe ask some of you guys' help to, to spread the word. And, you know, as you guys know, these are non-toxic. You know, I used to work in surfboard factories. So I was really trying to get away from working in all the chemicals. And Posca allowed me to do that. I can't thank them enough. So I want to encourage everybody to, at some point in the next 30 minutes, to share what you're drawing or painting. And if, you know, a lot of you have been with us this whole month over and over again, um, and many of you share again and again, but some of you have been a little quiet, and I would love to hear from you also. So if you yeah. want to show your work, raise your hand or write it in the chat. Um, and I want to ask a question for Kelly right now. Kelly wanted to know, how do you make it blend so well? Mine looks like lines. Uh, it's a, it might be what you're painting on. So, you know, one of these, um, you know, since we had to do these, these, on, these uh, classes on the fly, uh, it's really important that we start letting you know what types of materials it works good on. And we've covered this on a lot of the other classes, but not so much on everyone. But so it, it doesn't work that great on paper unless you coat the paper first. And there's different papers out there that do have coatings on them that allow the pen to flow on top. But if you're just working on like a scrap piece of paper or sketchbook paper, it doesn't work that great. Um, it works really good on surfboards and it works really good on wood. Like if we can look back here, uh, Jillian and Maria, some of these things on my wall. So we had painted on the wood. I showed you how to do that. Um, we painted on the you know, surfboard, of course, the rocks. It works great. Uh, this is the hat that we did with Chad Carruthers and the roses. Um, but even this, you had to coat or it would soak into the fabric and wick where the paint would move along the, the fibers. So it's the same type of thing on the paper. So what we do, let me grab this over here. It's a great question. I should address it every time is uh, spray it with uh, crystal clear or like a, a matte fixative that you can buy. And then that'll give you a better surface. So the paint doesn't soak in and allows you to blend. So let's go back to, to this angle and I'll show you. So I'm doing um, brown, tan, and white. And on the canvas, it flows really good because it's already coated with gesso. And so I do the darkest color first and I just kind of go over it like this. And I do a small enough area to keep it wet. And then I just go half in and half out with the next color and I blend it right with the tip of the pen. You don't have to worry about the tip getting messed up. It will um, have that dark brown will, will come out of it. And then you just keep going back and forth until it looks really nice. And you can actually even go back the other way, let's say, you know, with the brown and, and darken it up a little bit. Or you could take this white and we could, you know, clean off the tip on the side. Always have scratch paper or something off the side. But you can see that white right there. I go over over top of it, and that's how I'm blending right with the tip of the pen. Sometimes we do wet the canvas if we want to get it um, to stay wet or longer. Um, it's a little bit more tricky, but it works really well. Uh, but there's all kind of little tips and nuances in every one of these videos that uh, we go into 
And it, that's why it's important to ask questions because sometimes I forget that I haven't said so. So thanks for the question. Yeah, and just to let everybody know, we put replays to all our paint parties on YouTube. If you go to YouTube, the Brophy Art Academy YouTube channel, and we have one, uh, one paint party on there where we specifically focused in on the blending techniques. Just look for that on YouTube. Okay, can we share a couple? We've got a, a Cairo and Santino. Yeah. Uh, so, so we'll go to Cairo first. Cairo, if you are ready. I can hear him. I can't see him. Um, I think we're having a problem. We're going to come back to you. I think there might be a problem with their Wi-Fi right now because it's just not loading on our side. Cairo, you sound like a robot. We're, we're gonna, gonna come, go to. We're um, gonna come back to you, brother. Yeah, we'll we'll go to Santino right now. Santino, how hey, are you? There he is. Good I'm trying shoe. leather. Oh, you're doing your shoe. It broke, so I just found it there and. Perfect upcycling, man. It's it's leather, so I don't know it's how it's gonna work. It's hard to like uh, blend, but it works. Yeah, it'll work. Um, same thing. If you coated it a little bit, it would glide a little bit better. But that's perfect. Right. I'm Thanks. glad yeah. that you're upcycling things. Yeah, good job. Thank you. It looks like you got a haircut. <laughs> I did. You did. See, I see. Well, we're gonna be like old time friends, but when we we meet in person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny. That's awesome. All can right. We, can we see if we can find Cairo? All right, we're gonna try again. Cairo, we're gonna give this one more try. Let's see. Not Cairo's got a if you know what it has to do with the internet. Uh there he is, but it's not coming through very well. There he is. Hey Cairo. <laughs> Mm. Oh. I like it. He's got the. I've been sitting forward. So I made this. I love it. It looks like a, you got a robot and then you got the. the crazy I did a mushroom later. Yeah. I made a cat and spider as well. <laughs> All right. Well, looks good, man. Yeah. Thanks, Carver. We can't really hear you, but I can see. Great. I can see what you're working on. It looks great. Keep going. He's gonna. So he's been adding like all his uh, projects onto one board, which is really a great idea. And now he's like kind of building this whole uh, painting off of all the different exercises. I think that's a great. Good job, Cairo. So Andrew Johnson is here. He is on the line and he wants to know if you're coming back to Myrtle Beach for an exhibit. I think I'll be coming back to maybe do one of these paint parties. Maybe you can help me put it on. Yeah, that'd be really fun. Um, okay, Gary Hedrick wrote, sometimes I send my line drawing to Coastal Blue Printer, have them print the line work on any material you can imagine. Yeah. You can even provide the surface you want to print on. They can yeah. print on, on some boards or mounted canvas as well. It's a big time saver. Yeah, that's a, that's a great tip, um, Gary, because yeah, I've done that in the past. And uh, man, that was great. Having the sketch printed right onto the canvas. And you could actually have it printed on wood. It costs a little bit of money, but... Uh, that is possible, especially if you have a friend that has that type of equipment. So Steven said, I need to get Posca pens. I watch you paint with them. I never really have them where I live. Well, Steven, we have a solution for you. Go to Brophy Art Academy and we will personally pack and ship them to you. Just get them off of brophyartacademy.com. Yeah, and so I'd like to tell a good story about Posca's you know, like back in the day, you were only able to get those in Japan. And so I used to go to Japan and buy them and buy them for myself. And then people started seeing what I was doing and everybody wanted to buy all my pens. And uh, then I 
was inadvertently smuggling the pens into the country because they weren't available here. And then I was traveling around the world. And as I discovered more and more pens um, or people discovered the pens, they started having them all over the world. And it was just like the craziest thing. People in America couldn't get them. So I started uh, putting them in bags and selling them. And uh, it was really cool. So we've been inadvertently selling Posca pens for many, many years. And I really uh, want people to have them because these pens have really changed my life. Um, any of you have ever seen my, uh, my book or uh, the art exhibit that I did in South Carolina with all my work, you know, these pens were given to me by a family friend who was an executive in a corporation in Tokyo. And he brought them back for me as a gift. How and old that, were you, Drew? When, I, was, when... I was probably about 17 or 18 years old. And that simple act of kindness, you know, like he was this big time executive and he took, walked all over the streets to find a little art store to, to bring me a gift. And that simple act of kindness basically allowed me to have a career in art. And then I inadvertently took those pens around the world and here we are painting. And I'm not so sure if that, if he didn't take that simple act of kindness that we would all be here right now. So I'd like to thank Mr. Rosen, Dick Rosen. Um, that was a very kind thing you did and we're all better off for it. Yeah, it's awesome. I want to shout out to Julie Holmes. She said, I miss you, Drew and Maria. This is awesome. Glad oh, cool. to have you here, Julie. Hey, Julie. And Jail Castanera said, I've been here the whole month. I think I couldn't make a couple times, but I'm enjoying every single session. Thank you, Jail, for being here. Yeah. Okay, Jody is ready to share. So we're gonna go to Jody. Hang on just a second. In the moment, uh, let's see. Unmute. Hi, Jody. Hey, Jody. Hi. How are you guys? You're in a new location. I like it. Yeah, I moved my um, my camera around to the the back of where I'm sitting. <laughs> it looks nice. Look at your awesome. mushroom. That is a Hawaiian mushroom if I ever saw one. Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome. I love it. Thank you. The sunglasses you. are a nice touch. Thank you. Yeah, we got a lot of sun right now. <laughs> yeah. And it kind of reminds me of Beebs the other night, had those crazy glasses on. She's always got those on. How fun was she? I hope everybody enjoyed our friend Beebs. Friday um, night. Yeah, that was good. I, I really uh, want you guys to think about some of the musicians out there. They've been really hard hit by all of this, all of their concerts, all of their um, abilities to make money has been totally shut off. So <clears throat> it's really nice that Beebs could come hang out with us, share her beautiful voice and her good energy. And we're gonna do more of that. We're gonna have more uh, musicians on who like to do art because it seems like a lot of the musicians are very uh, artistic. So, um, Andrew Johnson said, Avon's ready to show us painting if there's time, and absolutely. So, we're going to bring you on. Hey, then, what's up, guys? Hey, hello. Let's, takes a little bit to unmute you. Let's see your painting. I, I think they're unmuted. They should be. Oh, the surfing eyeball. It's looking yeah. good. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Look at that. that. The sun is, that's, that's the, the sun from the sun fun parade in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So you awesome. guys, I, you know, growing up in Myrtle Beach, uh, that was the perfect catalyst for me to create all these cool paintings between the estuaries and the beaches, all the cool people. You know, it's really nice that, um, you know, to see somebody from home. Thanks, you guys. All right, so you can see mine. I've kind of gone through a lot of my color schemes. So I'm gonna do some really cool looking little flutes here underneath. Here's another question. Um, 
about what size Posca pens do you use for backgrounds usually? That's a great question. So right now with the, with this size painting, which is I think 11 by 14, I'm using the five mil pen. And the five mil is great for a project about this size. If you have a pen or if you have a project that's much bigger than this, you want to shift to the seven mils, which have the bullet point. And this is a seven mil. And this would be the same pen I would do for the background where it's more fill and you want to move fast. Um, so that's great. They do have um, some bigger pens. The 8K, which the 8K has a chisel tip like, like this. I mainly use that for like really clean lines like lettering or pen lines on surfboards. Um, this pen's a three mil, which I do, I'll be using for the black on this, which is more detail. And the three mils are great. Uh, Dan's probably using three mils on his cause he's doing like little two inch squares or four inch squares. Um, so a smaller uh, project, you use threes, mediums, you use fives. Anything bigger than this, you'd use the sevens. And um, they do have the 17Ks. Where are they? They're here somewhere. Here's a 17. Um, do I have a tip in there? So here's a 17 with a big tip on it. And um, that would be something for a lot of coverage on a big painting. So that's kind of, that's kind of our staples here with Posca. And there's so many different colors. I mean, um, a lot of it, we, I mix colors right onto the canvas. Um, a lot of people ask about all the different colors. I've been able to um, keep my palette kind of, kind of narrow and be able to make colors. But like a great example is, you know, there is like a, a more dark green and a more dark blue. Um, there's a more yellow green. Um, an apple green and you know that just has a little bit more yellow in it than this one so i do use all those pens but if i need it in a pinch i could just add a little bit of yellow right on the canvas and mimic that color which is kind of cool all right so you can see how i have all my little flutes underneath here and just like everything else this is a dark blue to light blue to white fade and i'm going to do one side and maybe i'm going to do a couple of them because I can do it really fast. But this is a great to see the blending. So I'm gonna take this light blue and I'm just gonna go half in and half out. And I, you see that I use the, the angle and the direction to create texture and it's consistent. And it's, it's the same direction of whatever the sketch is to try to make it look round. If it feels like it has a little bit too much dark blue on it, I'll come over here and clean it off like that just a couple times. And then it's, it's clean. And that's why I'm not worried about getting paint on the tip because it cleans itself off. And then I can kind of go back in like this. Hopefully everybody can see that okay. I've really struggled with the best way to show you guys without getting my hand in it. And then I've got my white, and so the white's gonna do the same thing. How's if that anybody looking? wants to share, raise, hit the raise hand function or put something in the chat, write something in the chat. And so we do Usually three. everybody wants to share in the last five minutes and then we have to go really fast. So yeah, don't, don't be scared to share. Don't be scared. We have 15 minutes left. So it's a little bit of, a little bit of time. Get moving. I'm looking at the, some of the videos just on the gallery view and some people are doing some really cool stuff. Like uh, Mike Antor is doing a killer, killer piece. Um, I really uh, would love to spotlight some of you. Oh, Keone's raising his hand again. Let's see. Let's go to Keone. Hey, Keone. Uh, Drawing like a tape where you put the tape. 
Oh yeah, great idea, man. You're yeah, gonna and I, fun. Yeah, and I drew this on the eye oh, yeah, on Friday. That looks amazing. Like a, a trippy mushroom. God, that is so good, man. Thank what you. is that painted on? Just like a piece of wood? No, a disc. Oh, it's on a, a disc. Wow. Yeah. You see that, everybody? There's like so many cool things. Thanks hold, for sharing. Hold that disc up one more time. Yeah, that is really cool. Super cool. That, that, that would be perfect for Sublime for their next CD. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Keone. So Jim said I can't work as fast <laughs> as this hour goes. But that's okay. You don't just show us your finished work, just show us your work in progress because it inspires everybody else. It Emily really said, I don't know where the raise hand option is. Um, it depends on what device you're working from. Maybe Jillian could explain that. Jillian? <laughs> so it'll be either at the bottom of your chat pane, you'll see a raise hand little option there. Or if you hover on the bottom of your screen, um, there's a little black bar and you'll see a raise hand as an option there as well. Thank yeah. you, Jillian. Yeah. And this, this does go fast, but you know, this is really about setting the inspiration. So hopefully everybody, and it does seem like this, everybody's continuing to paint afterwards and everyone's doing amazing things. Like Keone's last piece was, was just totally rad. And um, hopefully all of you are being able to see my uh, time lapses of all the detail work on mine on my Instagram so that you get to see me finish it. It is really hard to talk and paint and be on camera and do all that at once. I, okay. I, do, I do talk, I do paint fast, but not that fast. All right, so we have a few people that want to share now. So I'm going to just go Great. to Shana first. So Shana, if you are ready. Hey, Shana. Hi. Oh, look at that. You got two, like got a husband and wife mushroom and a little baby mushroom. And a family. And a little family. I love That's it. That's sweet. I love the heart. That makes me really happy. We came That's in awesome. and no can you hear me? Yeah, we can yes. hear you. So we came in in November to do one of the paint things with my husband. And oh yeah, pineapple. I remember. Yeah, nice to see you again. He's been working hard with it. Oh wow, oh. that is so good. That's awesome. So are you guys in San Clemente? We're in Oceanside. Oceanside, Oceanside. okay. Yeah. Cool, well good seeing you again. Yeah, yeah you guys awesome. too, I love you guys. Yeah, Thanks. thank you. Well, we love you too. <laughs> thank you. That that is so nice to, you know, just to, just to see that, you know, everybody's painting and, um, you know, when we first started doing these paint parties, it was really just an exercise and, you know, we figured we were open and we like to hang out with our friends and this really happened organically. And now with the situation, this happened organically too. It did. It happened overnight, literally. Yeah. All right. We're going to go to Mike Antor and I'm excited because I really liked what I saw. Let's, Let's see, see Mike. Can you hear me? Sure. I can hear you. Hold it. Oh, I can't see it. There we go. Oh, man, Mikey, that's amazing. Thank you. I just on. bought some Posca pens from you guys, and they work awesome. Right on. Where Where are you coming from? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Michigan. Right on, man. Let, right. show, show it up. Show it again. It's so cool. Yeah, let's see it again. Yeah, look at that. That's so rad. That is Thanks, just... Man such a I mean this is such a unique spin on a mushroom I love the I love the moon yeah. I know it's supposed to be happy but that's generally not my style yeah okay. that's all right well, you know what? you're you're really supposed to do whatever you want during yeah. these paint parties anyway so that's awesome yeah Thank make sure make sure you post that when you're all done can't wait to yeah. see it yeah if you're on Instagram post it on Instagram and tag Brophy Art Academy all right, now we're gonna go to Lennox. Lennox, are you ready? What's hey, up, what's up? Hey. I'm, not, I'm just not drawing a mushroom today because I live in Adelaide and I woke up halfway through this. You just woke <laughs> up. I'm what glad you What time is it there? What time is it? Uh, it is 9.20. 9.20. Wow. Okay. All right. Halfway through. So Either you're just, just sketching? 
Um, no, I've just been finishing off some of my other drawings from other. Um, Let's see them. So that's my. Oh, that's open. cool, man. And then uh, I've my one of my other ones I've just been doing for fun was. Oh yeah. Kind of like tried to do it like yours drew one of it, yours. Got it looks one good. That's like the uh, surfer's dream, living on a little island, hanging out. Adelaide's pretty cool, though. You guys got some big waves down there. Yeah, it was good surf on yesterday, I think it was. Yeah. Down at uh, South Coast there. Yeah. Were, you able to, were you able to get out there and surf or no? No, I wasn't because I, like, broke my arm and now it's still sore whenever I use it too much. So I've been doing a lot of drawing and well, stuff like that yeah well, that, well that's that works you know now you can just paint cool waves and uh heal up man it's um thanks for joining us man yeah yeah thanks all right we're gonna go to aaron next aaron hi aaron. oh wow look at that aaron that's fun very much not my style but it's fun <laughs> look at it's hard i'm painting on the back of my other canvas so it's really that's slick fun. You, yeah. you know what's so cool is, is yours has so much personality. Like it's almost like reaching for the sunshine, like just a happy, uh, it's, uh, it just makes me so happy seeing that. Yeah. Thank Keep going. You. Get rid of all that white. Yes. <laughs> all right. All right. We're going to go to Hot Rod. What's up, Hot Rod? Well, I'm doing a mushroom today. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> it kind of looks like a spaceship. Yeah. It's, instead of a car, I'm doing a mushroom. <laughs> That's killer. All right, I'm gonna flip over to John. John, what's up? Hey guys, how you doing? Hey John, shout out to that guy before from Michigan. I, I'm making a, a a Michigan out of morel mushrooms. Oh yeah, that is so cool. That that's pretty tedious getting all those like little chambers. I know exactly those mushrooms. Those are cool mushrooms. Yeah, I pick them in my yard. I haven't, I haven't found any yet this year, so I had to rehydrate some dried ones tonight all right awesome oh, thanks guys yeah thank man. you i want to i want to bring jamie on but jamie you have to turn on your video actually i think it's going to work now all right jamie hi hey let's see what you're painting oh, oh you got a know? happy one. Oh, that's so I, cute i love the two teeth <laughs> You need you need at least two to be able to choose, so you got it. Yeah. All right. Well, get get rid of all the white. I want to see it when it's finished. Okay. Okay. All right. Enjoy. <laughs> wow, that is cool. Fun well, seeing what everybody's doing. It's just everybody's got a different vision. Oh, Paige and Reagan want to show. Okay, Paige and Reagan, here we come. Um, here they are. This is mine. Oh, so good. I love the I like pink the pink and the sunshine. <laughs> what color are you going to do the sky? Um, probably blue. Do it blue? Go dark blue yeah. from the top to light blue at the bottom. Yeah. Thing. Right on. Awesome. Thanks Thank for you. With us. Thank you. <laughs> I think Paige and Reagan have been with us at every single party. That is cool. Yeah. Maria Emily Atkins and Amanda Moss would like to share too. We can spotlight okay. Emily right now. Okay. Hey, how are you? Can Doing good. Doing good. What are you painting? Show us what you're painting. Um, I haven't quite gotten to the painting part yet, but I was just doing a mushroom drawing. Oh, wow. You are so good. And that's oh. so that's the most important part is the, the idea and you got it nailed. Yeah, I always kind of take a long time planning out my drawing first. So that was my mushroom. And I some mushrooms, they'll have like these things growing on the sides. And I think they kind of look like arms. So I thought they were yeah. Fun. And then I had my, I, my eyeball. I, never, I haven't painted them yet because I've been busy with school stuff. But yeah. I added some color to my eyeball that oh, I did. Oh, that I is gave so him some cool. Arms to, arms to walk on, and then just lastly, I just want to show you. I finished 
drawing oh. this fish that from the fish drawing we were doing. Um, but I ran out of space, so I need to transfer it onto a different paper to finish the deal. God, that is so good. I mean, well, I can't wait to see what you're going to do on Friday because we're doing butterflies on Friday. So. Yeah, yeah I really, I've been really enjoying this. Uh, trying to, I'm trying to get quicker with get, just getting my thoughts down on paper. Usually, it takes me a while to get it down, but just having the hours trying to get an idea down is great. Yeah, awesome. Are those all Thanks. your paintings in the background? Yeah. Yeah, I got a ton of paintings. I'm working on a portrait right now. Let's see it. Oh wow. Just finished the drawing. I just it's uh, my mom and my grandma. Gosh, that's you, amazing. Really good. And so are you in art classes at school? Yeah, I uh, major in I, I'm going to Orange Coast College and I major in art. Oh man. So there you go. Oh, so you're representing. You're not far from us. So when we open back up and do live paint parties, you have to come hang out with us. Yeah, my mom, Terry Adkins, lives up in San Clemente. I've, I've been to the studio just once, but I'd love to come back. All okay. right, we'll see you cool. there. Awesome. Okay, let's say hi to Jocelyn. Jocelyn, hi. Hey, Jocelyn. Let's see what you're working on. Oh, she's got a cool rock. Oh, look at that, a mushroom and a sun, two, a bunch of mushrooms. That's so cute. That's so fun. Yeah, thank you for sharing. Thank you. Good job. Um, okay, Jim wants to show Andrea's from uh, Eyeball from Monday. So, Jim, you ready? There's, there you are. Oh, wow. So, that's Andrea's. Where is Andrea hiding? Right. <laughs> Just out oh, of the There she is. Why are you hiding? That's so good. Oh, thanks. Thanks, thanks yeah. Maria. Thanks, Drew. She's I like. High, so I had to show her work for her. Yeah. Well, this is your 15 seconds of fame, Andrea. <laughs> Thanks so much. All you get is 15 seconds. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you guys. <laughs> That's great. I'm almost done with my blue. If we can switch to the this camera. You can see I'm almost done with the blue. But you see it's real methodical. This took me a little while because I was kind of looking at everybody else's stuff. But when you're like just painting by yourself, listening to music, this actually goes really fast. Half in, half out. We have just a couple minutes left, so I'm gonna scroll through and make sure I didn't miss anyone. I think um, sometimes I miss people and I'm sorry about that, but we get so many comments that I'm sort sifting through them. Um, yeah, I couldn't do this with all, without all the help. You know, this is a team effort and- it Absolutely is. And having everybody participate, that's real important. It wouldn't be worth it without all of you. And of course, uh, having Posca support us and, you know, want to be able to get pens to new people and um, really just being a real supportive during this time. Um, I really commend them for that because uh, that's what we need right now. Okay, I think, did I skip Amanda? Amanda, we're gonna come to you. Um, let's see. Hey. Hey, Amanda. Oh, sick. Tate, you see me? What's up? Oh yeah, look at that. It's like, it looks like crystals coming up. Yeah, it's the crystals. Yeah, I love, love it. I love the crystals. I, I, I love crystals. I collect them. I have a lot of them. Yeah, I was at the eye painting and saw your lapis. Yeah. yeah. We got awesome. a lot of big crystals here in the gallery, and um, we like to go hunting for them. We went to Arkansas to go hunting for them, and it was amazing. <laughs> it was the first place I ever saw crystals growing out of the ground. I didn't think that was real, and uh, it is. They grow right out of the ground. Okay, we are going to bring my good friend, our good friend, Paul Carter on. Paul! Hey, Paul. Hey, guys. Good to see you, Paul. What's up, man? Awesome, guys. Hey, I just wanted to show uh, all the different things that 
I've done on the different shows that I've been on. Oh, that's good, man. That's yeah. one of the rocks. That's a little TP down there at Trussell's. Yeah, man. And there's uh, my quick draw from your deal. Oh, yeah. Hey. A little space alien. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, this is another rock that I did um, the other day. Right Watch on. I got one last thing with, um, and thanks for having me on, guys. You yeah. guys uh, have been a positive inspiration for me. Oh, oh. the wave is, thanks. well, you know waves better than anybody. Paul's a great surfer, a good friend of mine. Well, and uh, let's hope that we get so. surfing again soon, Paul. And and Paul is also an amazing surfboard shaper who, by the way, shaped my very first surfboard yeah. in 1997. Wow. Somewhere around there, yeah. It was 97. <laughs> I remember That's how we the met. Year I started surfing, 1997. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. I appreciate I, it. Yeah, good yeah, to see you, Paul. I wanted to tell uh, your audience that Drew was one of the three artists that inspired me to start painting in 2000. Wow. And, um, so thank you guys, and you guys make a great team. Keep wow. up the good work. We'll yeah. see ya. Huh? Thank Thanks, you, Paul. Paul. Thank you right. so much. And really appreciate it. I, I, um, I think that's a good example of like for all of us to, to be our best selves all the time. And if you're able to do that, good things happen. I, I really feel like I've been striving to do that my whole life. And um, sometimes you're not sure if, if, if it's making a difference, but then after years of doing it, you realize it, it, it does make a difference. Yeah. So we're going to end here in just a couple minutes, but there's two more people I want to spotlight because they've been waiting. Um, Mariah wants to share. So let's go to Mariah. Hey, Mariah. Uh, hi. Look, look at that. It's, it's a little house and a mushroom. That's awesome. That's so cool. What is the thing up in the corner? Is that a meteor? <laughs> a meteor. I love it. You should fill the whole sky up with all kind of crazy stuff. <laughs> Maybe some butterflies and ladybugs. Yeah. Thank okay, you. Okay, now we're going to go to El Nishi. Hopefully I'm, uh, oh, Alessandra. Alessandra, there you go. Look at all that art in the background. Hey, Alessandra. Hi. Wow, your stuff is amazing. Yeah. All this stuff, all the surf bars are with Posca fans. I really love and I really inspire of you. You, I'm a big fan of you. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. And where, where are you uh, joining us from? I'm drawing on this mushroom, like a psychedelic. Yeah. But, but where, where do you live? Where in the world are you right now? I'm from Brazil. I'm a Brazilian. Yeah. But I'm living in Los Angeles, California. Oh, yeah, you are awesome. very close to us. You're 66 miles north of us. Oh, oh. so cool. <laughs> yeah. So when well, this is over, you visit me. <laughs> yeah. I, I love your piece up in the corner of the tree with the roots, the black line yeah, work. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. It's it's cool. a, a canvas uh, printed. Yep. This is a canvas too, but frame it. Yeah. It's fresh. And I really love to draw. This is yeah. my special piece. Your special piece. Yeah. I love it. Thanks for Thank sharing you. it with us. Thank you. All right. I said two more people, but we are going to end with Santino. Santino. Santino wanted to show right. us. <laughs> well, you beat me. I, yeah. You've been speed painting. I like the sunglasses. Yeah, it's like a reggae one and a peace one. Yeah, that's perfect. And then I want to show you the eye. Oh, yeah. I didn't finish it because the leaves are very hard. Yeah, I told you those leaves were going to be hard, but you're doing a great job. Yeah. I'm doing you are... it slowly, but it's coming. It's coming. Just keep going. The shading in the eye looks really good. It's got real 3D looking. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, these, these, this classes are super good. So far. Oh, right on. And, and how's life in Argentina today? Good, good. It's uh, on Monday, there's going to start like 
uh, relieving the quarantine that let's hope it's not a mess but uh. yeah well, well well let's we'll, stay positive we're gonna stay positive that's what yeah. we're doing awesome that is cool so i'm still working on my blue color combination but i will be finishing mine on time lapse for everybody so you can see me paint this really fast and so I usually finish it the next day via time lapse and post it to Instagram. Uh, I wish I could finish them every time during the class. Here we go. But he has a little bit of personality. I look forward to seeing all you guys' uh, pieces finished. It, that's like one of my favorite things is to scroll through and see the, uh, the result that we all got. Let me just finish this color. Well, all good things must come to an end. And we are going to wrap this up. But I want to tell you that Friday is our next Posca paint party. Friday night, 5 o'clock California time, 8 o'clock East Coast time. And we are going to be painting butterflies with Andrea Earhart. Yeah, and she is an amazing artist, uh, lots of good energy. You can look up here. Yeah, I was finishing <laughs> my blue. But uh, I'm really looking forward to painting with her. Uh, it, having these guests on is a great way for me to uh, share the artist with you. And, uh, you know, just like the last class with uh, all the eyes, you know, look up these people on Instagram or the internet, whether it's Rick Griffin or Alex Gray or Andrea Earhart. Um, these are people I respect and I really look up to, and I want you to um, be able to see their art as well. I love seeing all yours and, and we all need to stick together. And I'm excited to paint again on Friday. And if you're on Instagram, post your images, post your art and tag Brophy Art Academy and tag Posca underscore USA. And again, we want to say thank you to Posca because it takes a team of people to make this happen. And Posca is supporting that. Yeah. And one of you is going to win this and we will announce it on the Instagram story, Brophy Art Academy, and we will track you down if you're the winner. This, so don't worry. This would have been the best present ever for me <laughs> as a kid. Thank you all. Have an amazing week. Stay positive. Life is good. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.